Never mind, never mind, things are good again Took the time in my life to figure it out And I won't let, I can't let real life bring me down Down, down Cause I could run across the world that I was heading out to the drugstore and I asked you guys if there were any beauty products you thought I should try. Either new ones or ones that you didn't think I had tried before and a lot of you tweeted me back suggestions so thank you, thank you so much for all of your wonderful ideas of what I should get. So the two things I was most excited about getting were the Maybelline Rocket Mascara and the Revlon Nearly Naked like new foundation and powder. So I walk in, I go all the way through like all of the um, aisles, I'm looking, I'm looking and they don't have either and I'll be honest I was pretty devastated I was like how can they not have either one of those and I went to get some things that were just necessary items that I'll show you guys that I was either running out of or I just needed them like in my everyday life um, and other ones I went just honestly to experiment with and see what I thought about them and if I like them I'll do a review and like demo video for you guys or a tutorial using it and stuff but I want to you know try it out first so I was walking around could not find them so I went ahead I started shopping for my other things but I was kind of bummed I was like like I really wanted to try out these products and then I see down the very bottom shelf where they have all of their like CVS brand and other brand um, like little travel makeup bags and things like that they had a little pop-up for the Maybelline Rocket Mascara and they had like a bunch of them and I got really excited I probably squealed not gonna lie but it was probably like a medium level squeal like it wasn't like a ah! it was more of like a ee! So um, I went ahead and picked up one of those, which I was so excited about. And then I was like, well, at least I got one off of my two that I really wanted. So I finished shopping. I'm going to the register and I look down at the very bottom on the opposite side of the battery little stand that they have. They have the Revlon nearly naked. And I was like, what in the world is happening? These are like, I came here for this. And if I wasn't going to buy anything else, like I would have been pretty disappointed if I went all the way to that CVS and they had them, but I didn't see them and I walked out without them. You know what I mean? So I'm going to show you guys what I got from CVS. I'm very excited about all of my items. So I will start off with this bag and then go into that bag. So first thing I got is the Sudden Change Green Tea Facial Mask. So it looks like this. It says instantly rejuvenates appearance the appearance of dull, tired looking skin. Add moisture as it firms. It provides green tea antioxidant absorption. So yeah, um, they have like a before treatment and an after treatment. I love like any green mask. I typically get the, um, what's it called? Oh my gosh, why am I blanking? St. Helena, is that what it is? Yeah, I typically get that one, um, but I decided to try this new one because it was there and I thought it would be nice. So next thing I went ahead and picked up was my Rocket Mascara. So I got it in very black. They had it in regular or in waterproof. I got it in the regular, but if I really like it, I might go get it back for the waterproof just because summer's coming up and sometimes I like to wear waterproof just because you know, you get hot, you might sweat a little bit, and it runs a lot easier than typical. So yeah, this is so exciting. Oh my goodness. I can't wait to try that out. Everybody has been raving about it, and I think I'm like the last person to try it. Okay, so the next thing I got are the Impress Press-On Manicure. So I have been wanting to try these ever since I saw them. I actually saw them in a magazine. They had like, you know, bought an ad or whatever. And I took a picture on my phone um, of the Impress and I was like, um, I took a picture and then I added like a little note and I was like, don't forget to get these to review on YouTube. And then um, I finally picked them up. So they had a really cool one that I wanted to get to maybe put on my ring finger for Valentine's Day, um, just over this like really natural color that I have, but they only had them in the medium length and I like short length nails. So I got these cheetah ones, which I thought were pretty cute. And then the next thing I got was a toothbrush. I got the Colgate 360 uh, with the tongue brusher on the back. I love brushing my tongue. So yeah, pink, obviously soft bristle. And I wanted to go ahead and get a new toothbrush. I'm kind of crazy with that. I like replace my toothbrush a lot, like all the time because I get scared. I'm like, oh, I had a cold. I need a new toothbrush. 
Makes sense, right? Yeah. Okay. Next thing I got was another one of the Maybelline mascaras. Now this is the clear mascara. This is the Great Lash Clear, and I use this as my brow mascara or my brow gel. So yeah, um, if you guys saw in, I think I showed you in my Valentine's Day makeup tutorial maybe, um, that mine is almost out and I've literally been like scraping the sides. So I went ahead and picked up a new one of those. Then I got something I'm really excited to try. So a lot of you tweeted that I needed to get the color tattoos from, um, these are Maybelline, right? Yeah. So I went ahead and I got this really gorgeous shimmery, um, like kind of like champagne sandy color. And I think this is going to be really pretty. It's called bad to the bronze. Um, I think this is going to be really pretty, honestly, just to like sweep across my um, lid and maybe a little bit up onto my crease and then and just add a tiny bit of mascara be good to go for days when I don't really want to spend that much time doing my makeup so next thing I got which I already talked to you guys about but I am excited I went ahead and got the Revlon nearly naked um, foundation I got it in shell I have no idea I'm so bad with color matching foundations that are at the drugstore because obviously you can't test it um, I don't know but I feel like maybe this is it and then I got the light pale um, the light pale powder. I probably would have got the light medium, but they were out. So it was either light pale or medium dark. And I was like, go with the light pale because you can always put a matte bronzer over top of it if you get a little tanner. And that's kind of what I thought. Even if this um, foundation isn't my exact color, I'm going to be putting the powder and then bronzer and blush on over top of it anyway. So I thought, you know, you won't be able to tell even if it is. So I'm going to try that out. And if I love it, I will do a video for you guys. And I don't know if I don't like it. Do you want me to do a video? I know there are so many really awesome videos out there already like raving about it, but maybe, maybe I won't like it. I don't know. I have kind of finicky skin. So next thing I got was just the CVS eye makeup remover. I am absolutely out of my eye makeup remover I have been using the long comb one and I was out for like four days now so I've just been like rubbing it with a wipe but that doesn't get it off very easily um so yeah I decided to try the CVS pharmacy eye makeup remover because the only other one I saw was the L'Oreal one and I don't like it I did a blog post on it a long time ago and I was like I don't recommend buying this and I, I regret that I did it was really bad so I'm hoping that this eye makeup remover works a little better I know this is the one that Remy uses so it probably works um okay then I got two pairs of the 117 Ardell false lashes I wore these the day of the Super Bowl and I got a lot of compliments on them I find that these are good they're definitely obviously fake lashes and a lot more dramatic than my standard go-to Ardell lashes but these add a little more drama for you know a night out or something like the Super Bowl where you're really kind of getting dolled up I did 49ers makeup I know they lost um, but yeah I did maroon and gold makeup um, okay, then I got the CoverGirl Liquid Line Blast Liquid Like Intensity uh, Black Fire Eyeliner. My Maybelline Master Drama Studio one that I've been using forever probably has one more day on it and then it's going to be completely done. So I knew I needed to get a new pencil liner and I decided to try this one because it looked like it would be like really intense and dark and black and that's what I like. And then for a liquid liner for my upper lash line, I got the Maybelline New York Master Duo by iStudio. I love this one. The um, tip of it, you can actually do a thin or a really thick line. So I like that it gives you like the option to do either or because sometimes I just want kind of like barely bare liner and then sometimes I really want to be able to do a dramatic line. So we already finished with bag number one. This reminds me of Katy Perry. Do you ever feel like a plastic bag? No, I don't. I've never felt like that before ever. Okay, so now I have my second bag and I got a new uh, Sebastian Shaper Zero Gravity Hairspray. I go back and forth on a lot of different hairsprays. I'm not super, super picky, but I do really like Sebastian Shaper, and this is their Zero Gravity Dry Brushable Lightweight Control Hairspray, and I like when I do my curls that I can still like run my fingers through it and stuff, so I decided to pick up one of these, because I'm almost out, so that was kind of just like one of those necessary things I had to get, and then also another necessary thing I had to get was the new Duo L. I love how it has has the huge do not freeze on the back like who's gonna freeze their eyelash glue 
Like, who would even think of that? But they, like, printed it really big on the back. Um, yeah, so basically, this is the white, clear, dries, invisible um, one that has the applicator. So here, I'll actually open it really fast. You guys have seen the Duo Lash Glue that I typically use. It's the one that you can squirt out onto your hand or straight onto the lash. But this one actually comes with a brush where you can just brush it straight onto the lash. And I prefer this one so if you have the option get this one so i saw they had it in stock most of the time they don't so i was like oh my goodness so excited i had to pick it up and then i got two new pairs of the ardell now these are their accent lashes in black this is number 301 so this is really pretty if you start it just like halfway through and go to the outer corner it flares out just perfectly and dramatically and just gives you those like butterfly kiss end mascara or lash things and you know who these remind me of Quinn Fabre on Glee have you guys ever noticed how beautiful her lashes always are she always has these at the very end or maybe she does individuals I don't know but I know that she doesn't do them all over she just does them at the end and that's what gives that like butterfly beautiful open effect so I'm almost done then I got the baby lips in number 80 pink wink I've tried baby lips before and I really like them and I feel like it's just one of those things it has eight hour moisture and it is uh oh did I get one without SPF well that stinks I thought I got an SPF one I didn't I might go return this and get a um one that has SPF because this doesn't say SPF anywhere and I thought I was getting an SPF one. Anyways, this is a Maybelline Baby Lips and they're so And then the last thing I got were the Color Whisper. These are Maybelline again. I got so much Maybelline stuff. I didn't mean to. Are these Maybelline? I think so. Anyways, I got it in Pink Possibilities and Coral Ambition. So these are basically just really, really, here I'll put on the pink one or the coral one? Pink one. Uh, So these are basically just really, really shiny, moisture-inducing um, lipsticks that are more of like a lip stain. It gives you more of like a glossy feel to it. So I got a coral and a pink because these are going to be great just to throw in my purse. Always have them with me over the summer. Maybe I'll keep them like in my beach bag or something, but I don't want them to melt. So maybe what I do is, you know, our Glitzy Glam um, insulated lunch boxes. I'm not going to lie. A lot of times I get one of those for the summer and I put my makeup in there because it like keeps it cool and stuff. So that is all that I got from uh, CVS. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul video. If there are any other beauty um, products that I need to make sure I pick up from the drugstore or that you guys want to see a review on, go ahead, leave them in the comments below. And if any of the items that I mentioned you guys would like to see a review on, go ahead, comment that below. And I will um, try to test them out like today and tomorrow and get reviews up for you. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to you later. Bye.